Hi friends and welcome to another video. My name is Carrie and I love to make homemaking motivational videos and we have a lot to do today so let's jump on into it. To bring the sublime into the mundane is the greatest challenge there is. We all have those chores that we have to stay on top of every single day. For me, it's dishes, making beds, and laundry, and it can definitely get a bit mundane and boring, but reframing your mindset can really help break down those walls so that you can find joy in your everyday chores even though you feel like it's Groundhog Day. I know that I struggle sometimes with having to do the same routine every single day, but I try and find ways to make things more enjoyable, whether it's watching a TV show, listening to music or a podcast, or rewarding myself with a treat once it's done. It also helps so much just to distract my mind from what I'm actually doing and makes the tasks go by faster. You'll find that a lot of these chores only take a minute or two and can really set you up for a more productive day and get you motivated to keep going. So I invite you today to put down your phones, get up, and start cleaning with me. I'm starting this video in my bedroom. I always like to make my bed every single day. It just feels so much better to climb into at the end of the day. And also I like to fold my laundry on my bed because I can watch my TV and it's just like mindless folding and chores and it really keeps me distracted. I also like to fold my laundry on my bed because it motivates me to actually put it away. Um, my husband usually helps me put the laundry away by the end of the night, but I just, I'm not going to throw it all onto the floor and start all over tomorrow. So that's one thing that I do to make sure that it actually gets put away. I'm also hanging up a bunch of stuff from the closet. I had taken this stuff out and I have more laundry to sort, but we're going to come back to that later. I'm moving down in the kitchen now and it's not too bad, but I have a sink full of dishes to do as usual. So I'm going to get that squared away as well. I'm moving into my son's room now and he had been sick so I had taken his sheets off his bed and washed them and I need to get it all put back together before bedtime and since he wasn't feeling well his room was a little bit of a mess. I needed to get some clothes put into the hamper and hang some other stuff up that he had just taken out randomly. So let's go ahead and get this bed made and get it nice and cozy for tonight. There's nothing quite like climbing into a nice clean bed at the end of the day and waking up to a tidy room so I'm taking five minutes out of my day to do that for my son even though he usually helps me quite a bit. I try and find the joy in this task by thinking about how much it means to him that I'm here to help and I care about him and how he's feeling and just his environment as well. Okay so it is the next day now. I was only able to get those couple things done before I ate dinner and just hung out with my husband for a little bit before bed. Um, I worked earlier today and worked out, showered and all that. And now I want to pick back up where I left off. So I have laundry I need to get sorted. I'm going to get some loads going. Um, I need to step back to my desk for a couple more minutes and send a really quick email. And then um, I definitely have some yard work to do. I need to water the plants and clean up a little bit outside and basically every room in my house needs to be clean so i'm just gonna get started and see how much i can get done 
I also need to get dinner prepped for tonight. We're having a French onion chicken bubble up. It is a really good like casserole that you make with can of biscuits. And we're going to have that with peas. So I'm going to go ahead and film that for you guys. And yeah, I just, it's about it's 3.30 I think. Around 3.30, almost 4 o'clock. So usually, yeah, this is what I spend my afternoons doing. And it's warming up and I want to be by the pool. So it's really calling my name. But gotta get it done. I'm returning to my bedroom to continue on with the laundry train and while that's going I'm gonna go downstairs to the kitchen just tidy up a little bit before moving outside to the garden we don't have a landscaper so we do all the yard work ourselves and it really is an almost daily chore to get out there and get stuff done like watering or I'm always propagating plants or like planting new stuff or ripping out other stuff so it's a lot of work The garden is looking nice and lush. Everything's doing really good. I actually have another plant to propagate off of this one. And look at this one's already growing a pup, so that means it's doing well. We potted that in one of my recent videos. And the plumeria over here is getting some leaves sprouted, so that's exciting. Hopefully it blooms this summer. Um, but I do need to repot my basil it's just not doing well I think it needs fresh soil and to be separated a little bit I need to prune my petunias they're sad and <clears throat> I also need to cut this dead stuff off of the kalanchoe I think is how you say it and then I'm also going to spray paint this pot it's just not really my vibe so we're just gonna paint it black like I do everything um, and then I do need a water outside. Everything needs some water in the front and the back. It's looking good. I already got the first coat of black paint on this pot I got. I had gotten it at an event I worked. I always get to take home one of the centerpieces and they had this Reed Drummond pot that my daughter was so sad that I was covering but it just doesn't really match my house at all. And I'm using the Krylon 4-in-1 spray paint and primer in matte black. And then I ended up having to take off the gloves to deal with the basil because it was so delicate. I wanted to be really careful with the roots and separate them into actually four separate plants. And I think they'll grow a lot better now and fuller now that they've been repotted. I just realized I never introduced myself. So if you're new here, hi, my name's Carrie. I love homemaking to the best of my abilities, which admittedly isn't always the best or greatest, but I'm just here trying to do my best and I just like to always stay on the positive side of things. That's something that's really important to me in my life and I like helping others. So I hope that this video helps you in some way to get some motivation when you're having trouble finding it within yourself. I know that I have those days too. And on top of cleaning and cooking, and gardening. I also just like the whole creative aspect of making the videos and so sometimes my hobby is what drives me to have the motivation to get my house work done. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Leave me a little heart emoji in the comments below so I know you're with me and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I also found some loose jade in the garden, so I'm gonna pot that as well as this black rose aeonium. I think that's how you say it. It's a type of succulent. And uh, the red philodendron that I tried to propagate 
in a recent video totally died on me so that's really sad because I had had it for a few years since my husband gave it to me for Mother's Day but I'm going to repurpose those pots for these clippings and the jade is doing really well I have my petunias in its new pot over here put it in the shade because it does not like the sun and as you can tell my tomato plant is super thirsty but I'm so excited because we have I think like five tomatoes coming in and more coming and these are beefsteak tomatoes so I'm really excited to make some BLTs or a yummy salad with those but it's definitely a thirsty plant I kill everything I killed my last tomato plant so I'm super happy that this is actually bearing fruit I'm going to clean it up a little bit and take off some of those lower leaves and I do need to research a little bit more because there's another piece of the plant that you should take off I forget what it's called but it starts with an s and um, that helps to help the plant grow as well and I'm going to give my strawberries a good drink of water up here. Sorry for the lighting. We did have some strawberries come in, but I want it to bush up more and grow some more. And then I'm going to give the tomato plant a good drink of water as well. took really nicely to that new pot I propagated those in another video as well and I did a few I don't think they like the sun that much because the sun it killed some of the ones that are like directly in the sun but it loves that spot right there it took really nicely but now that it's getting hotter outside cleaning the pool has become an every other day chore if not every day we're gonna brush the algae off the surface of the pool and skim it and add some more chlorine to filter through <music> time to get started on dinner so I'm going to clean off my workspace before getting that started and my cooktop wasn't getting clean with just the spray degreaser so I'm using the product that came with the oven which works great so once I'm out of it I'll probably try and find this exact product or something similar and it also came with this sponge which I think is a little bit softer and gentler than traditional sponges um, that way it doesn't scratch the glass cooktop <laughs> Tonight I made 
making a French onion bubble up, which I usually make when I have leftover French onion dip. It's a super easy casserole that you make with chicken, French onion dip, a can of cream of chicken soup, canned biscuits, and crispy onions. And I'll link the recipe down below. But I've also changed it up a bit and made it with egg noodles, which is also super good. And I'm going to start by trimming and cutting my chicken up and getting that cooked. It doesn't need too much seasoning or salt because it's going to go into the French onion and cream of chicken mixture. spray oil on hand so I'm using a paper towel to coat my Pyrex dish with some olive oil and I'm also grating a cup of cheddar cheese I totally forgot to mention that this recipe calls for the cheese and I also put a little bit of salt and pepper on the chicken so it wasn't terribly bland but then you're gonna mix together one cup of French onion dip with a can of cream of chicken soup the cheese the cooked chicken which you don't have to worry about it being fully cooked because we're gonna put it in the oven to finish and I do wish I had cut up more chicken for this particular night I had eyeballed it and I, I feel like I needed more just to be proportionate but you just also need a smaller junior sized can of biscuits that I use some kitchen shears to quarter up and then you mix it all together and add the crispy onions over the top this in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes and served it with some peas tonight. I love mixing them in while I'm eating and it's a super easy dinner that you could just throw together on those busy nights. It was a beautiful night on the longest day of the year, so we decided to go take a walk after dinner on the lake. So we're gonna take our golf cart over there to walk off that dinner.
This is the following day, which was a Friday. I had been busy with work this morning and needed to take the trash out, so decided to take this time to clean my trash cans. I'm just using the Clorox multi-purpose spray to wipe it all down. I've been cleaning the house all day long. Just kidding, I don't clean the house looking like this. We are on our way out. I have been cleaning the kitchen because it feels like it's never ending, but I'm not gonna keep filming that for you. But we are on our way to a white summer night party. So um, it's to celebrate our friend's anniversary. So we, I picked this up today and um, I had like nothing white. Couldn't be a black party, which I have like everything black. But yeah, so we're gonna head out. They're gonna have dinner there. We're gonna do some swimming probably, and I'll pick back up tomorrow. But I just wanna give you guys a little update for today because um, pretty much all you saw me do was clean the trash can earlier. But I have been, and now I'm making my, my son dinner <laughs> before we go because he's very picky. But yeah, that's like pretty much all I had time to do today. I did fold a load of laundry. Of course I made the beds and kept the laundry moving, but that's about it. And it's Friday, which normally I like to do like all my cleaning, but tomorrow morning, it's gonna be busy. It had been a lazy morning on this Saturday, but I needed to get the floors mopped, so I'm wiping down the counters before I do that, and I'm going to also dust and clean the living room and get the stairs vacuumed and mopped as well. We were going to go out on the lake on this day, so I was trying to get my chores done as quickly as possible.
I still have the whole upstairs that I need to get done, but we're saving that for next week because even though the mess can drive me crazy sometimes, I know how important it is to take time for other things that make you happy, like being with your family, being with your friends, and also making time to rest. And I know housework can be super exhausting at times. We're all tired from work or from taking care of kids. Maybe you're dealing with some health or mental health issues, but your mind will eventually become what you believe. So when you're making your bed and you're doing those dishes, try to keep those positive thoughts at the forefront of your mind because your mind is just another muscle and the more you keep working it in a positive direction, the more naturally those positive thoughts are going to flow to you. And the first step is just to start. Instead of moaning and groaning like I did on this morning, I sat and cuddled with my cat on the couch for a couple hours. I didn't get up until like 10 or 10.30 to start cleaning, which is late for me. I like to get it done earlier so I can enjoy the rest of the day. But chipping away little by little will help you get to the progress that you're looking for and you'll feel so much better once you get it done. I am always thinking about myself tomorrow and how I'm going to be thankful that I didn't come down to a dirty kitchen or to a bunch of laundry that I knew I needed to get done. I'm going to be happy that my room or my bathroom's clean. And I also like to follow the 10 minute rule. So start a task and give yourself permission to quit after 10 minutes and when you reach the 10 minute mark even if it takes that long because a lot of stuff you you realize wow this only took me five minutes I've been putting it off forever you might find that you have enough motivation to power through and keep going but getting started is always the hardest part Well, I just mopped this whole area, but I realized I didn't turn my camera on. <laughs> I use the Libman Spin Mop to mop the floors. I love it because I feel like it works a lot better than some of the electric mops. It's similar to the O Cedar. It's just a lower price point, and so the design is not as great as the O Cedar, but it still works really well. And I can also easily clean the walls or baseboards when I'm doing the floors, so it's just more efficient. I've had some steam mops in the past, which I felt like didn't clean as good as the manual mop, and I also always put a little pine salt in the water. I love the way it makes the house smell, and it's also pet friendly, so I don't have to worry about it being toxic to the kids or the pets as I'm cleaning the floors. You have three cats, I'm sure you've seen them, and a dog, so it's definitely important to keep those toxic chemicals out as much as possible. was the last thing on my list for today I'm obviously getting hot because I put my hair up and it's super dark on my staircase so I can't really show the whole thing but I definitely got a lot done today and I'm super thankful that you are here cleaning with me if you made it this far don't forget to give this video a like and also I would be super grateful if you subscribed and turn those bell notifications on I'm trying to grow my channel and I'm so thankful for all my subscribers and for your support I'll see you guys in the next one bye